Hey everyone, it's John here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about scrap sterling. We find this stuff all the time, and I don't know why it gets overlooked, but it does. So this set of weighted sterling candlesticks, I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, they're heavier than just if they were just sterling, because these have cement in them. And they're not a special brand, so what we do with these, we just bust them up and we add them to our scrap sterling pile. If they had a good brand name on them, then we would sell them as is, as a collectible item. But th these are just kind of generic. My experience, we're going to get about two to two and a half ounces of sterling out of these. So right now it's spot that's somewhere between $35 and $50 for the pair. So this is how we break it up. So what I'm going to do is first, you want a pretty hard surface to do this. I'm going to soften Soften them up a little bit, busting up the concrete that's in there. And this concrete probably is in here too. So just bust them up, soften them up a little bit. Better to use a harder surface, I just busted my table. Anyway, you can see where they're starting to come apart. And there's the cement that's inside. So here's one piece that's all that's sterling, clean. That's all sterling. This is a little more difficult because see they put some, they basically just nails that they put in there, any pieces of metal. It's funny what you'll find in there sometimes. So this rim usually just peels right off. A pair of pliers, and that is just a cap on the top of it. You just peel that right off. It's kind of a you know, nice to do this. We're doing it in the garage because it's a little dusty and dirty. Yeah, remember, wear your safety goggles. Okay, so that's so far all clean sterling. And we've got this thing here. Hmm, that was easy. All right. So, and this one we've already started. So we're going to just take this one apart. Keep busting it up. Probably the hammer. Pretty thin stuff, you can almost tear it. Again, we'll soften that up a little more. And pull that piece right off the top. And there we have it. There's our sterling from two weighted candle holders. Now the thing is to weigh it. We'll do that in a minute. I want to show you this thing first. This is, again, just a generic piece of flatware or silverware. Clearly marked sterling right there. And the only part that's sterling is the handle. This is stainless. And again, this has probably got cement in it. Those are a little trickier to get into. Take a little more, uh, a little more pounding sometimes. But let's see. I just, I just want to kind of get this crushed up into a ball here so we can weigh it easier. Because again, this is just going to be, this is just scrap. So that'll be easy to weigh like that. Now this, these guys, there's usually a seam right along here. And what you want to try to do is crack that seam. And the way I do that is to just put it down on the cement. See, I'm on the cement now. And just kind of, again, you can see the, you can see the cement coming out of that. I'll clean that up later. And so, no, I didn't get it all, hang on. A little more bang that a little more. Just kind of bust that stuff up and it'll just powderize and come right out. Alright, so that piece is clean. And then you can see that again they had that little stick in there holding the stainless onto the sterling. And we're gonna need two tools to get that. Good pair of vice grips. I'll grab this a little tighter. 
I'll grab the stainless with the vice grips and then I'll just see if I can work that piece of stainless. Okay, that's none of that is sterling. And there's see that, that little piece. Nope, that's not sterling. That's that piece that's going in the middle. Again, I still like to say these are it'll take a little more work, and this one's hardly worth it. But and we paid a dollar for it, so we might get a couple dollars worth of sterling out of it. This one's this one's giving me problems. There we go. You just gotta work it. Break it open. Yeah, now we're looking for scraps. This is hardly worth it. But I'm committed, I'll do it. Like I say, these are these are a little harder to do. And uh not as much ROI as the as the weighted candlesticks typically. But you know, we're there. So with sterling is it's also sometimes marked 0.925 because that's the purity of it, 92.5% silver. So when we figure our values, we'll factor that in. Okay, so there it is. So we got all the sterling. We're just gonna clean up this mess here. Okay, so I cleaned up the mess. Now it's time to weigh it. We've got this little digital jewelry scale. And we'll go into the on off. Turn it on. Yep, appears to be calibrated in the mode. All right, so here we go. We've got the scale set to ounces. And let's see what we get. And 1.909. So a little less than two. I, I was thinking it was two, like I said, two to two and a half typically. But this is just a little less. So 1.9 ounces. 1.908 actually, but that's so tiny. And let's see what that little knife adds. It puts us up to 2.122. So that, I'm gonna call it 2.1 ounces. So we, so to figure out the value, we take the spot value, which at the, at the last time we checked was $19.91 per ounce of solid sterling or solid silver times our 2.1 ounces. 2.1 equals, and because it's only 92.5% sterling, we multiply that by 0 0.925 times 0 0.925 equals, so, so like I said, it should yield about 35 to $50 worth of silver, and this is showing it's worth $38.67, so we picked that up for $5. So it's the kind of thing that, you know, is overlooked quite often. So any of this weighted sterling, you know, it's, it's worth it's worth a look. And we just add this to our scrap pile. Like I said, if it had a great brand name on it, we'd have to we'd have to be able to sell that for forty dollars or more on eBay to make it not worth scrapping. So we'd have to have a pretty good name. So so that's it in a nutshell. Hopefully that gives you something else to look for. Keep your eyes open for it and. Uh, Okay, well, wait, wait a minute, don't go yet. I wanna show you an example of some sterling that we won't scrap. We found this at the exact same yard sale that we got those candle holders. This old Newberry Crafters. It's a salt and pepper shaker set, shaped like an apple and a pear. And it doesn't weigh very much. I mean, less, less than one ounce. So there's maybe at current spot, 12 or $15 in scrap value there but we can't find any of these things listed. And we do find Newberry pieces selling in the like 50 to $80 range for just spoons and whatnot. And I think we saw one for 119 if I'm not mistaken. So this is the kind of item that we would not scrap. So I think it's great to get an example of both because this does have the name, does have the right name on it. The brand has a track record of selling for way, way better than scrap value. So. I'm glad, I'm glad I thought of that because it, it's nice that I could give you an example of both because we did talk about it and now you get to see one too. It does show 925. So that's the other designation for sterling. Excellent. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please consider subscribing. Until next time, we'll bring you some more stuff. All right. Thanks for watching.